This is the red-bellied black snake from Australia. It's trying to get a bit of sunshine on a very cool day. Because its scales are black, it can attract the heat and warm up. It's really not taking much notice of me and I'm not bothering it. I don't need to catch this guy for any reason at all. I can just observe him. I'm probably a little bit close, but this is a way of observing their natural behavior. It's just trying to warm up and get moving. Its eyesight is not very good. Probably can't even see me because I'm not moving. Once I move, then it will pick up on that movement. The flat bellies and its scale pick up vibrations in the ground. The sand here is very soft and loamy and it's not sending out a lot of vibrations. So I was able to sneak up very quietly on this guy. I'm not threatening it in any way. Snakes will react badly to violence or to stress. The red belly black snake, although it's highly venomous, is not very aggressive. It tries to get away from people. It doesn't try and bite people. I'm looking for signs of stress. If there is any stress at all, I will back off and give this guy some breathing space. What I've noticed about this red belly black is that it does look a bit like a tiger snake, a copperhead. It looks like so many of the snakes that we have in Australia. It is isn't a leopard, a front fang snake, it's like a coral snake, uh, it's the same family as cobras, as black mambas. The very subtle differences. The subtle differences I notice, first of all people would probably mistake this as a lowland copperhead because you sort of see the, the red on the side there, but the shape of the head is very very different. It's all about the shape of the head. It's a, also the uh, the scales, the scales on this guy, they look like they've been jet packed with a, with a nice sheen, almost like polished like a car. Glossy scales, very, very glossy scales, very beautiful. Uh, whereas the copperhead would be much duller, more of a satin, more of a, uh, a velvety look. This has got a really jet black gloss look, it's very beautiful. The scales are very, very fine across the back there. If you look across the nape of the neck, they just form this beautiful pattern that sort of goes in a bit like that. Just the way the light's catching them at just at this moment uh, makes it, it's almost an optical illusion that the eye is sort of, you know, seeing those shapes there. I'll sort of put that there. It's almost like the Aboriginal art has what well, looks like ribs there, but that's sort of the patterns that the scales are forming there. It's a very delicate looking snake too. The cheek here uh, swells out a bit, the venom glands right in there. On a tiger snake that would so really swell out. Uh, it does look very much like a tiger snake, but here the venom glands not quite as much and it's just sort of the angle there goes up a bit more. So there's a very very subtle differences. A little frontal scale there between the eyes. Uh, again tiger snakes much wider across there. This is sort of flatter, uh, more narrow rather. A bit more like a copperhead. But again it hasn't got that gloss. Yeah you know, copperheads don't have this shiny gloss, the sheen on them that uh, this black snake has. Right now the snake can't see me because I'm not moving. It can't hear me, it doesn't have ears. I'm not moving around too much so it can't feel vibrations through the ground. It sort of suspects that I'm here, its tongue's flickering, it knows that there's something around. But the survival strategy for this animal was probably just to keep still. To keep still, let those scales suck in energy from the sun so when it does have to move, it can move fast. It's just warming up, getting ready to move when it has to. There's a lot of space around it. The snake's not crowded in. It's, it can turn and go the other way freely of its own accord. I'm certainly not going to stop it. A couple of other things I've noticed about black snake here is that the nose hole seems a little bit larger than a lot of the other snakes that I've seen. 
on the side the first couple of rows of scales where it starts going red the scales are like cut in half the half red the half black it's very beautiful it's all the way down the whole side of the snake gorgeous pattern She's probably going to go your way. Yeah, if I just sit still. Back a bit. Wait, that up. There she goes. No, I might move. Yeah, good idea. She's flattening a little bit. Because it can't see or hear or feel the vibrations when it does move, it may move blindly. And some people say that snakes chase them. Often the snake will just panic and because it can't see will sometimes go the wrong direction where the, where the humans are. But uh, this guy's noticed his mistake, he's turning around and he's going the other way. <laughs>